and gentlemen, and welcome to the food festival here in St. Ives. Possibly the best position for a food festival in the whole of the country. You can't argue with a beachside location, can you, on a fantastic day like this. And I'm delighted to say that here is the lovely team from Trangana Castle. Yeah, exactly. They brought their fan club with them as well. <laughs> so um, we've got Executive Head Chef Don Wells, Hello. Mike Yay. Smith, who's here, and Mel too. We're do a hot smoke tea mackerel, um, some paprika bread rolls, is that right Mel? Um, an Asian slaw, and that'll be it really. That <laughs> it sounds it's great. more than it sounds, sorry. And is, is this a representative of the food that you create at Trigena Castle? Yeah, we're trying to do a modern Cornish classic with a bit of an Asian twist. And yeah, it is. Oh, there you go. Sorry. It's very friendly, isn't it? It's cosy. Yes, it is. It's hot. quite hot, isn't it? But so, so you put that all in the bottom of a tray. So it all goes in. You need to lift it. Sorry. You need to lift it up so the tea doesn't get on the fish itself. And then um, when Matthew's finished, he has. Can I have the Matthew? There's some more? Yeah. We cover it, we get the heat, we get the heat from here, and then once it starts steaming, we'll get it going for seven minutes, and then we'll leave it, and then that will get it cooking and smoke. How did you come up with something like this? Um, it's what I learned off an old head chef of mine, and it's a good way of say that they got mackerel yesterday, they can't have it today, they just smoke it, and it's a good way of preserving the fish. It's a, Chinese, it's a Chinese method, you can do it with duck, sausage, chicken, anything. And any of us could do this in our oven? Uh, we uh, would like to? I uh, hope you could, yeah. <laughs> it's um, a bit mess messy. It's good to do on a barbecue because you can smoke your kitchen out, which I'll probably do in a minute, so yeah. Such a colourful, I don't know, let's, can we show everybody the, the look at the colours in that Asian slaw there. So uh, you've got what ingredients? Uh, there's white cabbage, red cabbage. Carrot, and we put pomegranate, there'd be some spring onions going in, and some uh, pawpaw. And basically, I did these just to show what you can do with the cabbage if you're not going to mix it. We're going to mix it to go with the mackerel, but if you just want to use it for a garnish, you can put the two cabbages together and then bundle them with the carrot, but it's got to be freshly shredded. So the lid is going on to the fish, and uh, that's going into no, the... No, no. It's that's not going, go going on, on the, the top. Oh, right. It's going to go on the top. So then what we do... Pierce it. As soon as we see the smoke, then we know it's going to be seven minutes from then. I don't know how we're going to see no. that, but we'll try. Can you see anything? <laughs> no, not really. The sunlight. <laughs> okay, well, we can <laughs> just take a look at that. So the smoke will come through. Well, is, we'll see it. it. We will see it. Don't worry. I know, but is it white or black smoke? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the choosing of the tape, isn't Depends it? Depends on the macro. <laughs> now, how are you getting on? Right, everything's mixed now, the yeast, the salt and the flour. You must make sure that you do it in this kind of motion so it properly blends it. And then we add the olive oil first. This is the messy part. And then we're ready to add our tepid water. It must be lukewarm, otherwise your yeast will not rise. And then yeah. And you can see the paprika come through because of the colour. Yeah. Oh, we've got some industrial type work <laughs> <Yeah. Sorry, laughs> going on here. Thank you, Matthew. We'll catch you in a minute. So, um, once again, be careful of the cables. So, Don, what are you doing apart from setting things alight? Okay, let's put that out. <laughs> um, you can actually. Sorry, you can, you can actually cook mackerel with a blowtorch, so all I'm doing is crisping it up a little bit, just no one wants to eat soggy skin, and as simple as that really. That smells you, lovely, is there... Um... Some I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are the others doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they're fine, but the tea spat up on it a little bit. This is too hot, it's better to do it on a solid top or a barbecue. This gas is too powerful and it, yeah, just sprays it up a bit. So, and um, what effect are you looking for then when you do do it on the barbecue? Just a, a nice smoked, just a good smoke, nice bit of colour, nothing too, nothing too over the top. Right, they look lovely, don't they? We've got a little bit of an assembly conveyor belt going on here. So, um, Mike, tell us about the, the final product that you're creating here then. Uh, we're just going to sit a bit half of a fillet of mackerel on top of one of the rolls so it can be eaten as a bun or open. It's a mackerel hamburger, really, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that was ready to go. <laughs> and uh, these will be coming out, and then, of course, you've got this Asian slaw, um, which 
is so colourful. You've got the red cabbage, the white cabbage, the carrots, the spring onions, the chilies, the lime juice, and the garlic oil. And that's what made that a part of the bump. And that's being handed out. So, ladies and gentlemen, please a warm round of applause for the Gunner Castle crew. Tomato and snake paprika bread, tea snake mackerel, and trigena slaw, and it looks amazing. Thank you all very much. It's incredibly hot here.